Hi, my name is Stephanie, and today I'm going to be discussing the possibility of TENS in reducing pain in cancer patients with bone metastasis. The target population in my case study was a lung cancer patient who had bone metastasis. And what I was looking for is the possibility of TENS to be able to decrease pain in cancer patients with this type of metastasis. The type of unit I will be using today is going to be a TENS unit, and I'm going to show you guys the protocol. So we're going to use a single channel and we're going to apply the TENS pads directly on the source of pain. So Sarah, where are you experiencing pain today? Yeah, it's kind of here in my lower leg. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and place it here and we're going to place the pads six inches apart. Right here. These are really big pads. You're going to use pads that are going to be appropriate for this size of the area you're looking at. So we would probably go for pads half this size, but for this purposes, just use your imagination. The pulse width is going to be set at 200 microseconds with a 80% hertz, as well as an intensity level that's going to be adjusted according to the patient. So Sarah, you're going to start to feel tingling sensation, then it's going to start to feel like a massage. So let me know when it's strong but comfortable. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and adjust this. Getting there, getting there. Alright, that feels good. Okay, great. Now, in the protocol that I looked at, this was applied for an hour. And during 30 minutes, they looked at the pain, and then at an hour, they looked at the pain. And there was evidence in decreasing pain throughout the session. At the end of the session, they used the numeric pain scale. and at rest, it was a 4 in the beginning, and then with a painful motion, it was a 7. By the end of the 1 hour being on 10s, the pain went from a 1 at rest and a 2 with an active motion. They also used the McGill short questionnaire to look at pain, and it went from an 8 all the way to a 1 at the end of the treatment session, showing a very, very big decrease in pain. After 48 hours, they looked at adverse effects and there were none. So, in my opinion, I would definitely use this type of therapy to reduce pain because often seen with cancer patients, they're on so much medication that they're often bedbound, drowsy, aren't able to remain active, and we all know how important remaining active is, as well as adverse effects such as nausea, just not feeling very good. So if we can find an alternative to, that can allow patients to be able to decrease their pain while still having a really good quality of life for the many time that they might have. I feel like this is a very big step in doing that. So I would definitely give this a A++ and you should definitely use TENS when treating cancer patients. If you would like to take a look at the article that I referenced in this video, it is entitled TENS for Cancer Bone Pain by Robert D. Surley et al. It is a case study and it is a level 4 of evidence. Thank you.